Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hope Presbyterian Church on this 13th day of Ordinary Times. Um, if you want to know what Ordinary Times are, go back and watch last uh, the announcements from last week, and you'll find out. Uh, we have some great announcements today and then a sad one. Uh, our great announcements are, the first great announcement is that I'm going to be on vacation after this service uh, for a whole week where uh, I am hopefully not going to do anything. Uh, I haven't had a vacation like that in a good long while, but I'll get a chance to be with my kids and, uh, and a chance just to play and enjoy each other. And I'm really excited about that. Um, that being said, whenever I go on vacation, I never turn my phone off. Um, I may not answer it, but I always see who calls and I will always check my voicemails and my text messages and my emails. Uh, if you have an emergency, um, please call me. Please reach out to me. Uh, if I, uh, the one thing I always tell people is I get to judge what's an emergency. So you should definitely call no matter what. And then if I think it can last until I get back, I'll wait and do it then. But if it won't, I'll take care of it uh, instantly and call you right back. So if you need anything, if you if it's an emergency, please call me. If it's something that can wait until I get back into the office on July 6th, that would be wonderful. And by office, I mean my home office. Um, the next great, great announcement is we are starting a uh, another mission opportunity. And hopefully you'll hear, read about it in, in, a, in a letter that's coming to you that if you haven't seen it yet. And it's basically we are doing... Uh, we are doing a underwear, and we're going to throw in socks too, but a sock and underwear drive uh, for uh, kids, um, people who are needy. Socks and underwear are some of the most needed items possible. So uh, please uh, uh, get some, some kids' underwear um, to come drop it off. If you want to know what type to get, uh, call the office. Uh, Michael will have a list of all the sizes and all that, or or um, look for emails and all to come. And we're still doing our RCS food drive. So you can knock both of those out at the same time. Both of them are in boxes outside of the church office. So you can be very safe. You don't have to come and talk to anybody. You can literally swing into the church, drop them off in the boxes and get on your car and go. And you'll be doing some people who really need some amazing good. So those were our outstanding, uh, great announcements. Uh, then we have a sad one. Um, the session uh, last Sunday uh, unanimously voted that we are not going to be opening up the church uh, for in-person worship or in-person activities anytime soon. As you've probably heard, or if you haven't, you should know that Pinellas County and Florida are spiking for the COVID at an alarming rate. Uh, we are some of the worst places in the entire country right now. It is really scary and very dangerous. And because of that, we are not going to open our doors until we feel confident that we can worship together safely. If you, like me, want to be doing worship in person, if you, like me, want to be in this church at 1015 on Sunday morning rather than at our own homes watching it, um, you can help with that. The number one thing you can do is wear a mask. If you have loved ones, your friends or your family who aren't wearing masks, tell them to wear a mask. Uh, it is believed that if 80% of the people wore masks, the virus would be gone within a few weeks. Let that seek in. We don't need to wait for a vaccine. We don't need to wait for a cure. We just need to get everybody to wear masks, and we don't have to worry about COVID ever again. So please wear a mask. Please get your family to wear a mask. And if you go into a store or a restaurant and the employees are not wearing masks, turn around and leave. It's not worth risking your life over. Um, go someplace else where the, uh, where the uh, staff is uh, respecting your safety. Um, if we all start taking steps like this, Pinellas County and Florida's uh, COVID numbers will start to drop rather than keep going up. And then we can start making plans to where we can all be here together to worship. And maybe even if we do that, we might be able to shake hands or hug or something like that. 
So join me in doing everything we can uh, to get back to worship as soon as possible. With those great announcements and then the one sad one, let us prepare our hearts to worship God this morning.